Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to make working NPCs with script. So uh, let's get straight into it. Here are some timestamps so you can just skip to whatever you want to watch. All right, so here we have an example of the guy that we want to make. As you can see, it says spawn. So as you probably figured, when I click on him, it will teleport me to spawn, which I just put here on the gold block. And that's what I'll show you how to do. So the first thing we want to do is actually spawn the NPC. And I'm doing that with a command block. In order to get a command block, we are going to type in chat slash give fanstaff command block one. And here we have it. All right, so let's spawn a guy over here on this block right here. And usually I put the command block one block underneath the, the block that the NPC is standing on. Then we want to write the command. So we want to do a slash summon. And then whatever type of creature you want. Uh, so let's try a cow for this one. So a cow. And then we want to make these right here. And the middle one, the on the Y axis, we're going to put 0 0.5. So it, it spawns on top of the block. And then another one of these and some curly brackets. And here's where all the magic happens. So first off, I'm going to give him a custom name. So we're just going to write custom name and some of these. And this is a little tricky if you want to do this with uh, colors and stuff. So uh, just try to do the same thing as I do pretty much. So first off, we want one of these. Then we want a bracket and a curly bracket. And then we want some quotation marks. And in the first quotation mark, we're going to write text. And then after here, we're going to put a colon. And now between the next quotation marks, we're going to write what his name should be. So let's just do another spawn. I don't know what else to, to call him. So you just type spawn inside some quotation marks here. Then we can give it a color. So we do one of these and quotation marks and color and close the quotation marks, colon. Then we want to do the actual color inside some quotation marks. So we can do gold. Uh, we can also do uh, red. We can do blue. We can do whatever. But I'm just going to go with gold for this one. Then we can also make it fat or bold. So you can write bold inside some quotation marks and another colon and true and that's pretty much that so now as you can see it's still red and that's because after this quotation mark the last one here we have to close our brackets again so just put one of these oh my mouse is in the way put a curly bracket and a normal bracket and one more of these and there we go now we'll spawn a cow with the name spawn but that's not really all we want. We also want him to not run away. Also, I want to mention that if you do a comma and then do custom name visible 1B, then actually you don't even need this B here, just one. Then it will show the name always. You don't have to actually be looking at him in order to see his name. Next thing, we'll do another comma. And then we'll just do a quick no AI one. And keep in mind, uh, whenever I'm doing like caps letters or normal letters, this is very important. You have to write it the same way that I do. If, for example, this N is a small N, then I think it won't work. I'm pretty sure it won't work. Uh, but just take my word for it. It, it won't work. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't work. Okay, next thing, um, we want to do invulnerable, also one. And that means that you can't kill him, pretty much. You can't hurt him. Uh, then we can do an on uh, ground one as well. So we're short spawns on ground. We don't really need this, but you can just throw it in there. And then we can also do a silent one so he doesn't make he's a normal cow sounds if you want to do that and that let's try this out so uh, let's 
let's uh, place this block here and get a redstone block to activate it with. And there we go, we got a spawn cow. <laughs> and this guy works the same way because I've coded that way. I'll show you guys how to do that layer of script. But yeah, as you can see, he is not really facing the right way as this guy is. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So also I want to let you know that um, you can only kill this guy in creative. Because we gave him invulnerable, then you can't kill him in survival. But you can still kill him in creative. Whatever. Uh, we can do another comma and then rotation and a colon. And then these brackets again. And inside these brackets we're going to do a number a dot and a number and then remember to put an F at the end and it's pretty much only the first number we're gonna look at so if you put for example 180 then he will be turned around you turn 180 degrees but we don't want that we want it around I don't I think like 310 oh 310 degrees I think yep uh, he's a little bit off. I you can you can fiddle with this a lot. Um, yeah, this is th this is pretty cool. This is pretty pretty much like that. So you can just cover that up, and then he's there. He won't run away. He won't despawn. Um, yeah, and players can't kill him unless they are in creative. And of course, you can also use world guard to to make it so that uh, only op players can kill mobs and spawn and whatever. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how you make the NPC in itself. I will also leave a link down in the description for a website that I really recommend that you use if you want to do villagers or something like that as your NPCs. This is a really easy to use website that just um, generates the code for you pretty much. So yeah, if you want to spawn a villager or whatever and you want to give it a specific trade or a biome, then check the link out in the description. Anyway, let's head over to the script. The first thing I want to write in my script is options. This is something I always use for my NPCs if they're going to talk to me. Uh, because it's just much easier. So here you can specify a prefix. So let's name one of the guys Gary. So we just put a G and a colon and then we specify our prefix. I'm gonna do some brackets in gray around the name just like so and then Gary's name should be in like aqua color just like so. So now let's go to the real script. So we're gonna write on right click on entity. Then we wanna do if entities display name is, and then we wanna put his display name, which was Gary in aqua and bold of course and at the end we're going to do a colon of course and our next line we'll do send something so this is where we can use our prefix up here because now we don't have to write this whole thing every time we want him to say something we can just write some curly brackets add and then g which was what we wrote up here and then we can just put in white we can put hello and we could also put the player's name in there so you do that by using two percentages around the player we can even do one of these and two player at the end so now every time we click an entity that's called gary it will say hello player to us let me make another example of something you can do so if i just copy this whole thing and paste it down here and then I want to show you how to make the spawn thingy so we can just change his name to whatever color and then spawn oh spawn and then instead of sending hello player to player we're gonna completely delete this one and write make player execute and then in quotation marks, we're going to do spawn. So if you want a player to execute some command, you do it without the slash in front. So now when we click on this entity, it will make 
the player execute spawn, so teleporting them to spawn. You gotta keep in mind that you can only make players execute a command that they actually have permission to do already. I think you can write as op after if it's a command that they don't have permission to, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, this is how you do the spawn one. I have another example for you. So here I have done a GUI NPC. Um, if you haven't watched my GUI script tutorial, then I highly recommend you go watch that if you want to make an NPC that opens a GUI, uh, because I'm not going to explain how the GUI works now in very much detail. But it's pretty much the same thing on right click on entity. If the name is whatever you set it to, I put this one at GUI, then it will do all the GUI stuff, open a virtual chest, format the slots, whatever. So this part right here is absolutely the same thing as we wrote in the GUI script tutorial. So you can pretty much just go and copy that from there. Anyway, um, let's go test this out, see if it works. So we're back on Minehut right here. I'm just gonna add a new file and name it npcs.sk. Create that, open it up and paste our script in here and click save. As always, let's hop into Minecraft. All right, so we're back in Minecraft and the first thing we want to do is we want to reload our script. So we do slash script reload. And what was it? NPCs, I think. Yes. And as you can see here, I have created a GUI, a Gary, and we still have the same spawn. So spawn works. Um, then there's the Gary. So he should say, hi, my name. And look at that, he does that. He actually says hello when I click him. And then we've got the GUI here. And there's a little special thing that if you use a villager, it would just open up the trades, right? So let me just show you how to fix that. Literally, the only thing you need to do is just after if entity's display name is blah, blah, blah. After that, on top of all the other stuff, you just want to do cancel event. That's the only thing you need to do in order to fix this. Let's hop back in game. So let's see here. And yes, it opens our custom GUI. So it just cancels the other thing and opens up the GUI instead. That is pretty cool, right? If you have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord and ask there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.